thought I'd do a quick video on how to carpet a cargo van. Uh, let me show you. I've kind of got started on this, uh, and but I'll kind of show you where I'm at, and you can kind of understand what's going on uh, by what I show you, and then I'll go on and finish the process. You will first need to prep the area by removing any brackets or hardware that prevent the OSB board from laying flat to the bottom of the van. Okay, I went and bought some of that, uh, oh, I don't know if you call it 7 sixteenths or 3 eighths, you know, it's almost, it's close to half inch, but it's a little less than half inch, that OSB, you know, board you can see here. And I always start, you know, always get two sheets of this, and I always start by taking one full sheet and just laying it out right down the, the middle of it. <clears throat> and you'll see I have a little bit on, left on, on this side and both sides of that fender well. Now I could have probably taken this and notched out here around this and slid this forward more and then just cut my other piece up there bigger. But this is how I've elected to do this for this time. Uh, on the sides, I've just taken uh, some straight pieces. I don't go to the trouble of notching out every little. Now if you want it that way, that's fine. You can just get the measurements and, and make the cutouts with a jigsaw or something and then take it all the way to the edge. But for my uses, I don't need to do that. Uh, what I'm gonna do is end up, you know, uh, just bare, you know, stay, kind of stapling a little bit the carpet down, but I'm mainly gonna glue it down with just some, some foam and fabric, or foam and, you know, this is just kind of a foam spray. It's kind of an all-purpose, you know, spray glue. And I'll spray it, spray it down first and then I'll tack it around the edges. And then I'll also uh, come back and spray it down these edges on both the carpet and in here and it should uh, tack enough that it's going to stay over there and not be a problem so and of course i've got this plain old cheap uh, carpet you can get at lowe's or home depot and on this van i went ahead and bought seven uh, feet now i could have probably got by with six but i don't like to you know when i say seven feet i mean seven feet wide it comes 12 feet long already which fits these long vans you know pretty close to the you know from end to end so now i'm not talking about going up into the you know the driver area i'm just talking about to the back of the seats up there and then to here and i'll take you up here and show the other side okay here at the other end at the front end of the truck you can see where my big one comes and ends here and i just cut another you know piece that's four by and just cut it off what i needed up to here which is just short of the cab area and it's straight up and then i start working out the edges now on this one i started um, i just get my measurement from here now this one has some kind of a, a lip going here and which is kind of just consistent with the inside panel that a lot of vans will already have some kind of a panel with carpet or, or something on it so and i don't need to go up in here anyway so i'm i'll let my carpet kind of go and hang up in there so i just figure out the width here you know and the width up here and then I wanted to make it past the turn here so then it so I cut it and I block it out big enough to do that and then I just kind of draw out the pattern cut it out and I try to stay within a half inch then I just got me a piece filler piece here to finish off from the this board and come within a half inch of where the carpet will go underneath this uh, step in and you can take this loose and just poke the carpet up underneath and screw it back down and then it'll hold it down over here now all vans aren't the same so you may or may not have a, a thing like this this is kind of i guess the intake for the gasoline um i just kind of block out a measurement and then i know i want to cut you know i kind of do measurements on that um i know how far i want it to be this way i know you know where it is in relation from here to here you know from there to there so I can, you know, you can just kind of guess it out, draw it out and cut it out with a jigsaw. And then I just put them in and I've been using these roofing nails and I don't put a lot of them in there. I don't worry about putting them in the middle of the areas, only on the edges. So it's mainly just taking your four bait right straight down the middle all the way to the top. It takes two sheets and then taking the leftovers from the other sheet and then cutting up uh, parts. Now, once you've got your wood placed and like I said, you can nail it in with an uh, inch and a half or inch and a quarter um, 
roofing nails. And just as, you know, the least amount you think you can get by with. Uh, and you kind of got your edges the way you want them. Uh, then you can take this carpet, you know, in its 12 foot length and just lay it and, and center it down all the way from front to back, which I've done. Um, I've pulled it up so I can show you what I'm doing here, but um, I'll, uh, I'll get it back laid out and then I'll, I'll show you the cuts I make as I go. As you can see, uh, every one of these are going to have a fender well of some sort, so that you're going to have to, you know, work your carpet around. Which, and I'll show you the process of how to do that. I'll get it laid out and, and don't pull it too far this way to make your cut. You want to be all the way up against it like that and come out at an angle. And always cut short. Don't cut right up to it right away. Okay, then you can kind of feel where the edge is want to find your point and stay just a little bit back from it. Don't snip all the way to it. And this is my point area that I want to, so I'm going to come close to it and I'm going to stay just short of that right there. So you know when you let it go it's going to go all the way to that edge. I'm going to work it around this thing and it'll go like that on it. So what I'll do is the same thing is lay it flat out. I want my line of my carpet straight with the, uh, the thing I'm cutting around. And always right up to it. And then I'm going to cut straight to the middle of it. When I'm back out about three inches or so, I'm going to make a little V cut to this point. I'm going to consider this a turn point and this a turn point. And I'm going to cut and I'm going to stay just short of them. Like that. And then that'll work. Go on around. This piece will go on around. Now I've got a lot of excess here, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to figure out what's plenty. I'm going to try to cut it off so I can get to where I can see it better. Until you've glued, you really want to keep your uh, cuts, uh, allow, allow, make it allow more than you think you need for the area. There's no hurry to get to those cuts right away because if you try to fit these cuts right off the bat and then when you go through the gluing process, there might be a little bit of slidage somewhere. All of a sudden you may be short on one side, long on the other. So what you want to do is make sure that is that you give plenty of allowance and you can see I'm giving myself three or four inches more and staying back, you know, considerably from these edges. Um, even though I'm cutting around them, I'm still staying back from them a little bit, letting it be a little bigger than it needs to be. And then once I get the glue down and get it uh, locked down for the most part into the center areas and up to those edges, then I'll go in and make final cuts. Okay, now you can see that I've got 
I've kind of I've got most of the cuts that are going to be uh, the starting of the cuts anyway, just to get folded out around these parts all the way around. And over here, like this. Now I'm ready to start gluing. There's two ways that you can go about the process of gluing down. You can either fold that half over to this side and start working that side, you know, one whole long side here or all the way from front to back, you know, fold it over and I'll show you that because that's the way I'm going to do it this time. Or you can take it from the front to this half, fold it back and then work your way that way, you know, from the middle to the front and then from the middle to the back. But I'm going to do it where I'm working from the middle of the, the long way where I pull it all this way and then work it all that way on the, from the middle to the outside, from the middle to the outside. What I'm doing right now is just spraying about half uh, the distance to the fender well. You don't want to try to do it all the way at once because uh, it takes time for the glue. You know, you don't want it to get dry before you start laying it out. So just take your time, do it, you know, maybe about 10 inches or halfway to the fender well in your first one. Now I'm just finishing my way to the fender well. At this point, I'm ready to make my final snips to the edge, but staying sh just short of it still. Since I have a staple gun, I can turn that under and staple it uh, because these staples are smaller and kind of go deeper. But you could just as easily uh, cut closer to the edge and just glue it down. Now from here I can kind of get a, go ahead and cut it to 
what it actually is here and then just kind of glue that down back the mages just glue it and let it come up that side a little bit that'll be all right set up a little bit about 30 seconds later Okay, you can see that I'm rolling this carpet right to that corner, and then I'm determining it's got about an inch or so here that I'd like to have, so I can cut back from that where that's rolled to the corner about an inch right there, so I can get it kind of marked there, and then cut down this line. careful with the glue the, not to get it on your other you might want to get a lay something down underneath before you do that it's just a cargo band for me so I'm not that particular once you've uh, glued down uh, the center from most of the center of the van and up to the edges it's mainly from there it's just fine-tuning uh, cutting where you want it to not uh, have carpet at and then uh, Once you get it the way you like it then glue it down. And it's pretty much that process from here on out 